Bill, if somebody was to ask you the best way to define Southern gospel music, what would you say? Well, Gary, I just have to say from Asheville, North Carolina, let's hear it for the Kingsman Quartet. <laughs>
coming back someday. Gonna take me home to Thank you so much. Ah, oh, you're a great crowd, and we're glad to be here tonight, and uh, glad to be in the Ozarks and uh, Springfield, Missouri. I went to Bible school here in 1951, and <laughs> lasted about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Resigned under pressure, I mean, <laughs> but uh, it's just it's great to be be back, and we just hope the songs will be a blessing to you. Hope that you have a good time, boy. If you're not having fun tonight, you're the biggest bunch of hypocrites I ever saw. I tell you what. All right, I want you to listen. Come here, Eldridge. This is our boss, and, and uh, uh, if we don't let him sing a song on the album, he'll fire every one of us, and I'm too old to get a job anywhere else. And I want you to listen to Foxy sing a song, and there's nobody, there's nobody that can sing this kind of song any better than Eldridge Fox. We affectionately call him Foxy. Listen, I hope it'll bless your hearts. I'm sure there's no millionaires here, but we'll all be millionaires someday when we get home to be with Jesus. The song says, I don't have much here, but oh my, look what's waiting for me. silver or gold my house is just a cabin by the side of some garments that are fit for a king and I'll hold more treasure than this world's ever seen I may not have much here but look what's
something to get excited about, something to get turned on about. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm feeling good tonight. I want Gary, this young man that's been singing tenor with the Kingsman now for about a year and a half, I want you to listen to him singing you song. You know, the Kingsman have been singing for 25 years, singing gospel music. And uh, that's all right, that's all right. And, uh, well, go ahead and do it if you're going to do it, don't you? And I tell you what, I'm glad for the standards that we uphold. I'm glad to be called out. Glad that we, we've been called out from a world of sin and heartache and disappointment. Called out. Boy, we're different. I want you to listen to Gary sing a song for you. That's the title of it. Hope it'll bless you. The song says, Called Out. Listen. Some folks I know by their names, some I just know their face. Some are known by their fame, others known by their race. But in the kingdom of our Lord, each soul.
forgiveness Called out from this world Child, you've been called out In the prison walls on that day The jailer bound up their feet Stripped of their garments, there they lay, bleeding from where they were beat. But along about midnight, Paul began to pray, and Silas he started to sing. The earth shook about, doors swung open wide. God said, you done anything in my life, never been anything important, except when Jesus Christ called me out. I never was anybody, never had my heart's desires, never had my dreams come true, never was fulfilled as a person until Jesus Christ called me out. I want to tell you something here tonight. If you're here tonight just to have a good time, you're here for nothing. We're here to tell you that Jesus Christ loves you. Oh, it's fun to laugh. I love to laugh. There's a little girl backstage just a few minutes ago said, I need to join circus. <laughs> I love to laugh. You should be happy. We're God's people. If you're God's people and you've been separated from this world, this world has no control over you. Praise God, you ought to be happy. <laughs> and from a little town down here in Oates, Missouri, God called me out. But I tell you what, he called me out from a world of sin and destruction that I was headed in. You might think in a little bitty town there ain't much to do, but I tell you what, you may not have a great testimony because I never shot up heroin. I never murdered anybody, but I tell you what, I was going to hell just right along with them. And Jesus Christ saved me. And he can save you. Listen to this song. He was born in a manger and his life would later be taken away upon this cruel tree. He became sin's atonement for sinners as I am. Upon the cross of Calvary died Mary's little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, washed us white as snow, and he was. All our sins away, sins away, sins away, washes all our sins away, neath Calvary's crimson flow, sent into this world, but now his work's already been done. He's ascended to
my album up. <laughs> you glad for Jesus tonight? Yeah. 
Amen. Oh, I tell you what. I wish to everybody, I wish we was on television where these people could see what's happening. Oh, I tell you what, we're having a camp meeting around here, and that's the way I like it. Oh, we're glad to be in Springfield and uh, just having a great time. Uh, I want to introduce the fellas to you now very quickly. The young man playing the Pine Anner has been with the Kingsman since he was 16 years old. And uh, I had to teach him how to shine his shoes, tie a necktie, put spray net on his hair instead of oil, and uh, even introduced him to the young lady that he's married to. Now they've been married about two years. On his honeymoon, he is still calling me and asking me what to do. But I tell you what, he's doing a great job. Would you welcome, been voted the number one musician for the past five years in our business, Anthony Berger! Our band there, he's been with us since he was 17 years old. Well, he was gone for about two years. He got married, and he left. And, but I guess he got the upper hand because he's back now and doing a great job. Would you welcome Gary Dillard? Gary Dillard. <laughs> Our drummer boy has been with the Kingsman since he was 13. And I want to tell you right now, for you folks that don't know, never sung or never been in a group a 13 year old drummer is the worst thing that could ever happen to anybody oh they don't know when to play they don't know when not to play they just bang and hit and bang on them things and bang i don't know what i was going to do but his father this little short complected gentleman here owns the kingsman you're getting a picture now ain't you for me to have a job, Sweetie Pie back there had to have a job. But he's doing super. Greg Foxy. Greg Fox. I'm going to save old Arthur for in a minute. I'm going to introduce you. I got some things I want to say that's been a burden in my heart. Got some things I want to say. Come over here. Boy, I tell you what, you're singing good tonight for a man that's social man that's old. His social security number's three. You're doing a good job. And I tell you what, he's uh, we got him out of the old folks' home today and got his oxygen bottles filled up, his wheelchair greased, and boy, he's got that Grecian formula in his hair. Uh, he's just doing great. But I tell you one thing, when it comes to singing old-time bass, if I could sing bass, I'd want to sing just exactly like this one right here. There ain't none no better. The dean of the bass singers, Ray Reese. Come on out here, buddy. <laughs> My boss right here. Found the beef right there. What about it? Eldridge Fox. We call him Foxy. <laughs> this is Lurch right here. <laughs> Played football at the University of West Virginia. Does a good job on our team. We couldn't get along without him. He sings a baritone. He sings a lead. He plays bass, plays piano. Does a great job with the Kingsman. Would you welcome Big Ed Crawford? Big Ed. <laughs> I want you to know that you have showed out bad tonight, tenor singer. Ain't he doing a good job? I tell you what, when Ernie Phillips left the Kingsman, I didn't know what we were going to do. Boy, I tell you one thing, I had two nervous breakdowns, a heart attack, a stroke, and it'd like to kill me because, boy, tenors are hard to find. Somebody that looks like a man and sings like a woman. Hard to find unless you're in California or somewhere, I can tell you that. <laughs> but I tell you one thing, he does a great job. He's 26 years old. Girls, he's not married. He, uh-huh, that's right. Never been married. Of course, old Arthur back there, he's never been married either. <laughs> The way you look, buddy, your record will stay clear. You don't have nothing to worry about. What about it for Gary Shepard from Oates, Missouri? Make him welcome.
Thank you so much. My name's Conway Twitty. You know? No, I'm Jim Hamill. Are you glad to see all the Kingsmen tonight in Springfield? Make them welcome. Now, our beloved band, they've been voted the number one band in our business for the past three or four years in a row. They are the best musicians, best players anywhere. But they have got it in their mind some way that they can sing. And I was in the bus the other day, and I was sitting up front, and I was reading or doing something, and I heard the awfulest, awfulest racket. I thought we'd backed into a cattle truck. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> and it was them back there practicing their song for the album. It was an awfulest mess. Any of you folks here that need to, to go to do anything, now would be a good time. Uh, uh, this will take about two minutes. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear The hour I first believed Through many dangers, toils, and snares I have already come Was grace that brought me safe thus far And grace will lead me on When we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, we know less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. ago, Eileen Hanks wrote a song entitled, In My Father's House Are Many Mansions. She sent us a new song a few weeks ago, and uh, I'm going to have Arthur sing it for you. Come here, Arthur. I want to introduce you, son. Just stand right over there. <laughs> I have known this young man all his life. He is 6'4". He weighs 135 pounds. <laughs> Girls, he's not married. If you want somebody so skinny his pajamas just got one stripe in them, <laughs> he's what you're at. But I've known him since he was just a little old boy. And I, I didn't never have liked him. <laughs> Did you ever see a kid that you didn't like? Just, just when you saw him, you just wanted to grab him and shake him. 
He didn't have to hit you. He didn't have to step on your toe. Just the very look of him made me mad. He was one big pimple till he was 20. And when we needed somebody to play the bass and to sing, my boss told me, well, he called me on the telephone. And uh, he said, I've got just the man to play the bass and sing. I said, well, boy, who is it? Who is it? He said, Arthur. I said, click. <laughs> then I got to thinking, you know, that I'm not getting any younger. And I... Amen. <laughs> first time, the first time he has said amen in 15 years. <laughs> and it's in the wrong place. <laughs> but I want you to... Uh, Welcome this young man, like I started to say. Call my boss, and then I called him right back because I knew I was in trouble. He said, what happened to the phone? I said, we got disconnected. I don't know what it is. He said, now you take Arthur on one trip, and if he does a good job, hire him to play and sing. He said, I, my boss said, I like the way he sings. I like the way he plays. He said, I like him. I said, I don't like him. He said, take him anyway. So we was down in Alabama. An old gymnasium and the sound just bouncing around. I said, this would be a good, good time to put Arthur on to sing a song. I, I told the people, I said, now, if he does a good job on this song, I mean, if he really sings this song and you think the Kingsman ought to hire him and he does a good job, we're going to buy him a suit just like ours. I want you to know he sung that song. Them people stood up and cheered and hooped and hollered. Finally got to settle down. A man in the back stood up and said, Jim. I said, yes, sir. He said, give him your suit. He sings better than you do. <laughs> so we hired him right there. Would you welcome Arthur Rice? <laughs> I want you to listen out to one of the greatest songs we've ever sung, ever recorded. Is Arthur Rice sings for you, A Place Where the Hungry Are Fed. Listen. <laughs>
gonna be, there's gonna be a jubilee, a jubilee in heaven when we get there. It's singing shout, singing shout, ages roll, ages roll in that city that's made of gold. Well, there'll be no dying in that city built for square. Everybody's happy in that city, bright and fair. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a jubilee, a jubilee. jubilee in heaven oh i tell you what we've had a great time here tonight i don't know when we've ever enjoyed singing any more than we have here in springfield missouri i tell you got my crank turned got me feeling good i'm glad i'm saved tonight i'm glad i'm on my way to heaven i'm glad i'm headed for that jubilee i'm glad i'm headed for heaven where there's no more sickness and death and dying and heartache and pain and sorrow leaving a world of heartache and disappointment you say oh i don't like all that loud racket i like everything quiet and dignified hope they put you right next door to me in heaven right next door to me somebody that'll raise a window and shout glory right in your face every morning oh my boy if you think you got to go around all the time with a long face you don't have religion you got indigestion we got something to be happy about we got something to get excited about god's alive and jesus saved Come on, turn us around, boy. Put your hands together. Yeah, Jesus, our Savior, has prepared that place. And we can go there by a saving grace. He shed his life for that we might be free. Praise God, he's coming back for you and me. Yeah. 
That's why we say amen.